How Chandler went from janitor to internet legend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are back on Sunny V2's channel. Now remember, Sunny V2 was one of the ones who had spoke out against Mr. Beast, uh, talking about how uh, Chris Tyson was going to ruin the channel. Everybody went in on him. Then all that stuff came out and everybody was apologizing. It's crazy, man. So we're going to check this video out. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description so you guys can check out more and even subscribe. We ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. From Mr. Beast's least important member, Chandler was actually our janitor, to a man who's been called Mr. Beast's last hope. Born in Greenville, North Carolina, Chandler met Mr. Beast at a very early age. We played baseball together since we were nine, like wow. in the same league. We knew of each other. But the two weren't friends as they had different interests. Jimmy was obsessed with YouTube, while Chandler was obsessed with baseball. From a kid, I wanted to play Major League Baseball. By 2018, Chandler was a pitcher at Chowan University. University, and after a local news station called him player of the week brother six five you know i, I just don't mean knowing how tall people are man because i haven't met nobody with YouTube while Chandler was obsessed with baseball. From a kid, I wanted to play Major League Baseball. By 2018, Chandler was a pitcher at Chowan University, and after a local news station called him Player of the Week, Chandler thought he was on track to become a professional. You think there's a world where you would have been in the MLB if you kept going? Yeah, in my head, I didn't think it was far off. But above Chandler's name on the roster was a much more notable person, Tyler Conklin. Tyler was also a talented baseball player, but his other main focus focus was helping a growing YouTube channel. He knew Jimmy very well. Tyler calls me. And he's like, hey, we have a job. This guy just got fired. We need you to be like the replacement. I was like, yeah, I, I guess I need money. Despite knowing nothing about the channel, you had no idea what Mr. Reese was. No. Chandler passed the interview by offering to do whatever they needed, although it seems this somewhat backfired when Chandler found out the position he'd gotten. Chandler was actually our janitor. We brought him Wait, on. what? Yeah, we, we brought no him way. on to just clean and stuff like that. As the channel's seventh official employee, the job was best described as janitor deluxe. I was the main cleaner guy, yeah. But yeah. I was also doing the jobs of other... You were janitor assistants. deluxe. Well, dude, I'm literally doing everything janitor except deluxe. me in front of the camera. Although despite having a pretty small group, Chandler barely said anything. He was very shy, like super shy. He was so terrified to even talk to me. Luckily, Chandler instead still had sporting ability as it substituted his shyness during his first first appearance in this iconic upload. The goal of the video was to break basketball records in which Chandler spoke just eight basic words. Here's the record and here's where we're doing. Despite his limited dialogue, Chandler broke a record for the world's oh. longest behind the back shot. It's weird to think that Chandler holds a world record. So this is how Chandler joined the crew. Well, kind of. Chandler didn't show his face for a year and a half after, only occasionally being heard behind the camera. I feel like a bagel would be kind of waterproof anyway. Yeah. That would be until this video here, when Chandler became a Mr. Beast contestant purely because they had no one else. What made them decide to put you in? Um, there was uneven people. You cut a circle into fourths, and uh, they just only had three. <laughs> they had three people, and they were like, who do we grab? They're looking around, and you were just there. As mentioned, the challenge featured a circle cut into four quarters, and the last person to leave won $10,000. Each contestant had a $100 budget, through which Chandler became likable, but only because he was also kind of stupid. While Chris, Tyler, and Garrett spent their hundred dollars on tents and beds, Chandler instead simply bought a camping chair. Chandler, that was the poorest decision ever. I'm talking about buying a fucking chair. <laughs> spending the rest of his money on snacks. Chandler spent like six bucks on fruit roll-ups, but five dollars <laughs> on his chair. Oreos, that's gonna help me survive. Hey, I got beef jerky too. <laughs> Garrett, mattress. Chris, tent. Tyler, tent. Chandler, gushes. What did your money go to man i got gushers <laughs> chandler was therefore ready to leave instantly so chandler said he really doesn't kind of want to do this anymore chandler's now trying to sell off his snacks 
Thirty dollars a snack, he says, like he's a freaking airplane. Yet he managed to outlast both Chris and Garrett whilst delivering some stupid but funny lines. Chandler eventually lost to Tyler after 36 hours, but with comments like "I wanted Chandler to win" and "Chandler in more videos," people demanded that he return. Yeah, people really liked him. And oh wow! And Chandler all of a sudden just starts popping in more and more videos, and people are like, "We like Chandler. We like Chandler." He'd therefore bring his one-liners to the very next challenge. Can I throw my poop this time? Sure, actually. Go ahead. Although after again losing, something became obvious. Chandler was terrible at winning these challenges, so much they introduced his family just to help him win. Since Chandler lost the last two, uh, his dad came to show Chandler how it's done. Chandler's dad Todd became a regular in the videos, also being Chandler's lifeline whenever he needed help. So Chandler's dad said if he felt like not doing it, then give him a call and he'd motivate him. Which turned into random contestants also using Todd's advice. I'm feeling great, but I think we should call your dad. Yeah, you need some support. I, I need some support. Todd's description further suggested Chandler came from a Christian household and that Chandler was part of a very big family, most of whom featured in Last to Leave Ramen Noodle Pool wins 20,000. I haven't seen, I gotta see like, has, has he said anything, Chandler? Has he spoken out? Trying to remember that I see anything on the videos I've watched on like the more Pegasus has he said, Chandler said it. I, I'm trying to remember I'm having a brain fart right now. This episode is a little different because it's all Chandler's family. Those are his sisters, this is his brother. As a gimmick, Chandler's brother Zach became a member of Mr. Bro, winning way more challenges than Chandler ever could. In fact, more than a year had passed since Chandler was first hired, and he still hadn't won even one single challenge. He's competed in all of these challenges you see on the screen, and he lost every single one of them. Memes began to spread about Chandler failing to win. When Chandler <laughs> dropped out of the challenges, you're in the end game now. Even our fridge can make fun of Chandler. Look, Chandler trying to win a challenge. Losing on purpose so we can make memes out of him. Although it turns out this was gold for the Mr. Beast channel. This Mr. Beast for gaining sure. a lot of traction at the same time as these challenges taking off as the same time as Chandler joining the crew. Now all of a sudden, challenges is kind of, you know, Mr. Beast never did challenges. For yeah. a little bit, that's kind of all it was. As mentioned by Carl Chandler being in the videos, came with a massive increase in Mr. Beast viewership as challenges became the channel's main focus. Still, Jimmy offered a extra incentives to help Chandler win. If he wins this one, he gets 50 grand. Everyone else only gets 20 grand because like Chandler never wins. Leading to his first ever victory 13 months after starting. What are you gonna buy with all this money? I don't know. <laughs> I've never had this much before. <laughs> Chandler then won the next challenge and another after that before he'd face a serious problem. Chandler was still just a part-time employee as professional baseball was still the main dream. That would be until Jimmy gave him an ultimatum. They were like, hey, we don't need part-time people anymore. Either you are full-time or you go back to college. And I was like, oh, shoot. So I had to make a decision to either just kill my dream and go work for Mr. Beast, which I did. Chandler therefore announced that he dropped out of college, which turned out to be his smartest choice, as exactly one year later, he'd win the private island. Chandler went on to sell it for roughly 800000 Only reason I couldn't keep the island, guys, is because of taxes. The government will make you pay taxes on something you could get for free. And I didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay on taxes. Although despite the impressive windfall, people noticed he was appearing in the content less frequently. Is Chandler doing okay? He looks sick in the latest hide and seek video, and he seems to be less and less a part of any of the content. Did he go through something personal, or is he just not as interested in the channel? I've noticed that too. I don't know if it's a personal issue, or it's cause of the dynamic of the group. A different post read after seeing less and less of an appearance of Chandler and more of Carl, I start to think that maybe Chandler is either leaving or he's just not good enough. At around the same time, Chandler supposedly uploaded a video titled Why I Left Mr. Beast Videos, which explained, I've left the Mr. Beast team due to complications with content policy. I had a great time making videos with everyone, and I would like to share some of my favorite moments from the channel, although this was totally fake. On the other uh -huh. hand, people began 
a clickbait that Chandler had gotten fired. So Chandler from Mr. Beast has allegedly been fired for selling the private island that Mr. Beast gifted to him. Watch to the end, this is crazy. Although the reality was much more depressing. Chandler had sadly died. YouTube star and associate of Mr. Beast Chandler Hallow shot dead whilst filming stunt for video. The article featured a picture of Chandler just a few weeks before his death and was supposedly written by Mark Savage, who was certainly surprised to see it. This is totally fake. I never wrote such a story, although Chandler then confirmed the headline was true, tweeting just found out I died. So when I saw you last night it must have been a ghost. Obviously Chandler hadn't died, as only four months later he'd announced he'd gotten married, although this had come with its own bit of drama. The photos had everyone from Mr. Beast crew, except for perhaps the most notable person. Why didn't Mr. Beast come to Chandler's wedding? A video talking about the drama gained 11 million views. Chandler from Mr. Beast got married, but Mr. Beast himself did not appear at his friend's wedding. Until Mr. Beast himself addressed why he couldn't come. Adorable wish I didn't get sick. Judging by other comments such as, my life wish is to be the same kind of man that Chandler is, getting married only made him more respected, bolstered by something else that Chandler started doing. After one full year with zero TikTok uploads, Chandler posted the following video. Recently, the Lord has put it on my heart to start sharing, you know, some of the things that I've learned, and I'm going to start doing daily verses. As mentioned, he planned on reading daily Bible verses, many of which have gone extremely viral. This genuine... So it seems like, it's almost like... Because I'm trying to remember what I've seen. I think I've seen something. So it's like he had a spiritual awakening, probably seeing some stuff he wasn't cool with or knowing about some stuff he wasn't cool with and wanted to turn to God. Cause like, like I said, all this stuff that's coming out, he could have known about it. And then it had been questioning like his morals and just everything, you know, that's what it seemed like happened here. Hmm takes so much courage to do in your position. W. Chandler. Even those who aren't religious seem to love what Chandler's doing. However, there's another type of comment that's rampant through his videos. Why aren't you on Mr. Beast anymore? Why did Chandler leave Mr. Beast? Did he leave Mr. Beast or not? Which is being repeated in many viral videos. Chandler quitting Mr. Beast? Where is Chandler from Mr. Beast? Chandler officially quits Mr. Beast team. The videos talk about Chandler in this video here, during which Chandler seems extremely bored while filming and ends up leaving the challenge before it's even finished. Where has he been and what is he doing? He definitely hasn't left the crew as he only just featured in the world's deadliest obstacle course, but people are definitely noticing that he's appearing less frequently. Let's look at some of the comments here. He lost many challenges, but he never lost himself. Chandler is the guy that gets along with everyone. It says, ignoring the drama and uh, popping a video about Chandler is such a classic move. It speaks for itself. Let me see. Bro went from cleaner to a cleaner reputation today. I feel like I feel like Sonny isn't going to respond to the drama until Mr. Beast addresses it. That's what I feel like is happening right now. Because there's been so many videos that came out. And like I said, he was one of the first ones to, to, to kind of call it out. And the internet just annihilated him. And then they all had to uh, uh, apologize. Hmm. I got to search and see. I want to see if Chandler has said anything. See if I can find that video. But hey, appreciate you guys coming over and watching, man. Peace out.